Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha studio. In Parsha Shlach, we learn the story of the 12 spies who were sent to check out the land of Israel. They brought back huge fruits including a giant pomegranate. And that's why we are going to make a pomegranate painting today. Here are the supplies we will need. A canvas, the printed pomegranate template, white, red, yellow, and gold paint, clay, a Q-tip, both a medium-sized and small-sized paintbrush, scissors, and a pencil. Let's begin. Cut out the pomegranate template, then trace its shape onto the canvas with your pencil. While the spies were in the land, they were met with the sight of giant people, enormous fruits, and strong, fortified walls. What they saw in the land convinced them that it would be impossible to conquer. Sadly, due to their negative reports, the journey of the Jewish people through the desert was extended to a total of 40 years. However, not all 12 spies returned with bleak reports. Two of them, Yoshua and Kalev, returned with the assurance that the land was good and that Hashem was on their side. They could conquer it. But how could this be? Didn't Yoshua and Kalev see the same sights that the others saw? Next, use a larger paintbrush to paint the background of the canvas, paint a third of the canvas white, a third yellow, and a third gold. Blend the color seamlessly into each other, then let it dry. So you're right, all 12 of the spies did see the same facts. The huge giants, enormous fruits, and fortified walls. So why did they come back with such different reports? Here's the answer. What happens in life is not what defines the outcome, but how you view it. That makes all the difference. In this case, 10 of the spies saw the circumstances and believed it would be therefore impossible to conquer the land. While the remaining two, Yoshua and Kalev, saw that very same situation with all of the challenges it seemed to pose, but believed it was possible to overcome. Their belief that Hashem gives us the power to overcome challenges is what eventually brought them success, though this did not happen till years later when the Jewish people entered the land. When we are confronted with a challenge, we have two choices. We can either feel defeated, like it's impossible to overcome, just as 10 of the spies did, or we can choose to believe that Hashem gives us the ability to prevail over them, like Yehoshua and Kalev. For example, if someone finds it difficult to learn to read, they can choose to give up or they can keep at it, believing that they will eventually succeed. Next, form several small clay spheres. A sphere is a 3D circle or a ball shape. The spheres can be of slightly different sizes if you wish, or if you don't, you can make them all the same size. Flatten and press them all over the pomegranate like seeds. You can choose to cover only part of the pomegranate, as we did here, or you can cover all of it. Use the smaller paintbrush to paint the entire pomegranate red, including the seeds. Another example is if someone has a hard time finding friends who will include him or her in their group, they can either choose to sit alone and feel sorry for themselves, or they can put on a smile on their face and walk up to some of the kids believing that Hashem can and will help them. Here's a question to think about. What is one way you can remain optimistic when facing a challenge? Lastly, dip the Q-tip into the red paint and outline the entire pomegranate with small dots. And that's a wrap. Enjoy your painting and make sure to find a good spot to hang it. We'll see you next week.